connected. Oh, I was just activated. Just I have no key. It's too late for me. I have no key. 20 meter. I have Morning. to choose this course. Hi, Tim. Hi, Tim. Hi, Tim. Tim, you will shine. Yeah, okay. I'll try it this way. Oh, is denn das noch? Dura Villach. Das ist Österreich, hm? User entered your channel. Evening. I wake. I wake. I wake. I wake. So is it mostly duo discus or mostly arcus? Yep, I'll, only I'll two planetus. I have no key for arcus. I have only duo discus. I'm wondering what everybody else is flying when if anybody's in there yet. I'm I'll, picking the arco discus. Yeah, I'll pick the arcus. And what's this for a class? 20 meters is uh, also an, an, an the high performer. Oh, double seater. Double seater, okay. Yeah, but high performance double seater. So I need a heavy uh, second pilot. <laughs> yeah yeah better is <laughs> performance <laughs> thanks for mentioning that i think i forgot <laughs> <laughs> funny i was man fixing this no airport flex. yesterday okay. in condo three <laughs> okay <laughs> interesting yeah i'm <laughs> looking at it now it's like that looks terrible <laughs> But I guess you are mostly testing the Slovenian landscape. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, this one is in Slovenia as well. Oh, yeah. I don't think it's in Condor in Slovenia too, but it is in Slovenia three. Yeah, I think it, I think it's just just out. I think it's technically in the edge of the map, but it's it's on the it's so close to the edge. I think it's actually not where there's no airport there. User joined yeah, yeah. Good afternoon. Hi, Morton. Good, Good afternoon. Hi, Morton. Hi, guys. Hi, Morton. Very nice. Zulu 38 forgot his backseater. Cockpit full of maps. Yeah, behind me, Alpha Oscar Papa. It's the same. Fly alone. Sixteen hundred is the start point, huh? 
Yeah. No flaps, okay. Not too much to manipulate. Hi, Mike. Yes, I will. I think one day I buy also a chair like you have got. Say again? So a chair. I will, I will, I will buy one someday. <laughs> uh, just storing a chair, yeah. Yeah, it's nice. I love it, yeah. About the ergonomics, the position of the joystick is always the same and to always each day a reassembling with my desk. You can have your beer in the cup holder. You can have. That's true. But now I have the controller of the Quest 3 in it. <laughs> yeah, but the problem is, you know, he had to replace everything. I mean, he's not using the original joystick or the original pedals. Yeah. But the only no, thing left is the lever. <laughs> you know, I mean, I, I don't. It seemed like a basket case to me, to be honest. <laughs> But that's the only thing, suppose. So, good luck to all from uh, Mike. He's not attending today. He has a doctor's okay. appointment. But he wishes us all a great flight and good luck. Yeah, Thank hello, you, Mike. Mike. Thanks. Thank you. Yeah, thanks a lot, Mike. Thanks, Mike. Yeah, good luck with your appointment, mate. Thank you. Thank you. Das bist du, eh? Wait, you guys, you see you're using a chair? I mean... I thought everyone played, they flew while standing up. <laughs> yeah, I think Garrett's even strapped in. Yeah. <laughs> strapped in. I, I usually hang upside down from the ceiling like a bat. <laughs> <laughs> if there's a, if they added hang gliders, could you make it, you have to make a, uh, Flying thing for Condor where you hang from a hammock. <laughs> there is this hang gliding sim, and it, you can actually fly it like that with like this thing from the ceiling. Can't remember what it's called. It's schön heute läuft schön. I think it, it would take a serious hook and a solid ceiling to uh, suspend me. Wait, you don't do that on a regular basis then? <laughs> no. Channel time down. Oh no, you're crashed. Or is your net down? They are everywhere already. What a nice tow pilot today. Mm -hmm. He dropped me off right on the, on the ridge. What happened to one of the tow planes? It's tried to land and now it just continues out in the horizon. I 
kind of happens maybe if the tow plane was getting ready to tow someone and the person disconnects or something. It as it, just as it flies leaves the away, I think. Yeah, because yeah, right now there's a yeah, there's a tow plane just flying off to the uh, west. Oh man, Rick, your registration. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I was close enough to read that. <laughs> I was watching you. Yeah. Hey Dennis, what are you working on now? Finishing up towel and child showers. I had one bonus room that I hadn't finished. Other than the table. You mean the bonus room you were finishing up the sheet rock? Yeah. Yeah, your favorite. Huh. That's oh, Andreas disconnected as well. It's Germany being bombed or something. <laughs> I wasn't gonna say it, but it's <laughs> uh, the Russians are invading. Hopefully, it's just uh, the local internet issues or something. Jared says he lost his complete internet, had to restart all. Welcome back, Andres. Uh, he still have three minutes to reconnect.
What the heck? I don't think he was in his plane. The plane just like slid off to the side. I'm not sure what happened. Zero nine. Well, if, if, if he's there, but he needs to go AFK, it's not a bad thing to do. You can just drop off and sit there and then restart. Yeah, maybe he was just pulling off to the side for a while. Yeah, he pressed to release, so... Oh, okay. It doesn't say broke the tow rope, it says released. So okay, he is actually good, there. Good point. You've got uh, thirty seconds, Andres. Test, test, test. Yeah, hi guys. Okay, it's working, Andreas. Yeah. You have okay. 30 seconds to connect this. Or you have 10 seconds to connect this over now. I connect it now. Okay, I try it also now. <laughs> Fast. All blue screen. At all blue screen. Yeah, I lost completely my internet. I was disconnected and TeamSpeak all was cut. I restart yeah. my router. I restart my PC. Okay, multiplayer. Uh, uh, chin chin. It's, it's, too, it's too late. I'll dress the uh, one time ended. Maximum numbers. Is, ah, fuck. Yeah, then I close and I see mid normal screen as as a spectator. Ending. We only got 30 people. Yeah, but the joint time is up. That's a pretty valley to the east. Looking up that valley is really pretty. Oh, I'm glad. I'm glad this area is getting, yeah, you know, that it's being expanded here. This is a really pretty area for. I think the mountains over here are really. It's a really neat area. You just want to fly around it in Condor. No, there was really no snow enough, and we are shooting. Sorry, Andreas. Usually it waits till you've fly, flown the whole task, then it nails you. You can still do server three, I think. Doesn't roll very fast, does it? Weak. Hmm. Yeah, I could be wrong. I think the I think the the uh, dual disc has seems to turn a little bit better than the Arcus does. The Arcus is a boat. Uh, it, it just, I, 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 the, uh, for some reason to me, it just seems like it handles slightly better than the Arcus does. It does, I don't know. I actually, uh, I, I mean, it, it does. You have to use a lot of rudder with the Arcus. Yeah. Well, the EB is the worst one. <laughs> it, it feels like the rudder is the main control we use for turning. Uh, well, I don't think the Arcus is far off the EB. <laughs> I guess the, the Stimmer does too. You, 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 it needs a lot of rudder too. Hi, Martin. <laughs> Hi, John. Sorry, somebody asked me a question. My son sat, sat on my lap and I had to do looping. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, he likes doing barrel rolls and then he goes with his head to the side, like, go do, do a barrel roll. <laughs> oh, wow.
How old is he now, Vic? Almost two. Wow, time goes by. Vic, yeah. you learn. You need to learn him to. You can say tilt at ninety degrees, so he can find. He can fire thermos instead. Yeah. Good luck, Gerd. Good luck. Get the look Good luck, Gerd. Yeah, yeah it was 600 meters. Go, go, go. Oh, good luck. <laughs> I had a rope break. <laughs> yeah, cool. So oh, I'm back. Um, I'm your service full. Ah, no, joint time ended. Yeah, maximum. Join us, spectacular. I got a grad in Cyrus by 550 meters, off the That's why it's tall, it's sick, schön gelaufen heute. So, sehr flüssig alles. So, gut aus und dann. Ja, war es nicht schnell genug. Also ich habe Ruder habe ich nicht gerade gezogen. Naja, aber schon komm, es sind jetzt drei Leute rausgeflogen, haben die Leute vom Server gespeckt, dass die andere Leute reinholen konnten oder waren alle weg? Nee, nee. Bei mir war, bei mir war alles weg. Also bei mir hatte ich auch einen Plus Screen, komischerweise, ich weiß nicht warum. Genau. Thank you. Good luck. I got a long climb to start. Just the flat iron, yes. Oh, somebody crashed into 09 x ray's wing. Uh, Art, 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 you. They did that to me the other day as well when I tried to uh, set up to the side. Somebody has an open mic. Yeah, and I have a little call thing on echo. Sorry. Yeah, sorry. yeah, so I was doing this the other day as well, so I could eat my dinner, and then somebody crashed into me as well on the start flight line, couldn't fly. Hmm. You guys see DGT? Way over there? Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's on course or not, but he released way below me way below me. he was like almost on the ground i don't know what he was doing he's above me now so that's really hot over there i don't know if that's on course or not but it's got to be not really really hot. no okay. it's not on course but there's a little face pointing straight into the wind and it's obviously working well okay man he climbed out like a rocket there might be a thermal on that ridge right there. User in your channel. Oh no, we're here again. Oh jeez. ISP. ISP problem gets annoying.
Yep, There's not really much lift on that first ridge. First one or second one? You're down on the second one. Well, the first ridge you come to after the start, it's kind of quite weak lift on it. You wouldn't think so, but it is. The one you're on now? The one I was on now, yeah. So you're going to have to climb. Yeah, they're lost the internet again. I think, yeah, this ridge is a little bit weak because the wind is coming in from behind at an angle, so it's not really hitting it too... It's not hitting it very square. No, his internet just went down again. He lost his internet. Ah, uh, unstable. Because I'm here right now, I've seen 26 pilots and I could not join because the server is full. No, no, it, it, it's, you couldn't join because the start time had ended. Ah, okay, sorry. Misunderstanding. Yeah, it, 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 it will say server is full or start or the time has ended. It doesn't oh, okay, okay. Joy time has elapsed, it says. Yeah, okay. that I know even more who is who. <laughs> is it good, John? Uh, yes, it is. Five. I just, my first turn was off center and I almost stalled it. <laughs> I guess it's, it's pretty good. I'm still not off center, right? Average I'm getting now, getting a little higher, it's gone down a little bit, but it's still 3.8. But yeah, it was bits, bits of like right now I'm at five again.
not be since it's above 25. Oh, we already left. Congrats guys. Same for you, Morgan. Team Gaze Boy. I see what he's doing. Uh, eh, you know, I think might go that way too, actually. That looks fun. Uh, you know, you. Oh, that was way too close. Uh, I, uh, my right wing tip was, I'm surprised it didn't scrape the ground. <laughs> I, I rolled right over the top of the ridge a little too soon. <laughs>
Bruce. Yeah, Bruce. Ruff. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. I'll, I'll find out this uh, geodiscus flies a lot better if you close the brakes. <laughs> That's how you open the flaps. Am I in the wave yet? Five waves. If so, be strong on this end today. It was unreadable. Just a short question. I'm a little bit irritated. I'm watching and uh, I don't saw really waves, uh, but they are extremely strong on this map. Well, there are lenticulars, so... Maybe they can bend more space. If the, the humidity is set to low, then there's only small ones. Ah, okay. But the upper wind is only 35, so there's not a big variation. make the pass.
tactical error not climbing out early. Meter wings, isn't it? Not 15. Yeah, you went right where Till did. Yeah, wings just, too long? Just uh, flew too close to the edge and caught the tip. Yeah. Well, I almost did that earlier, Till. It's the same spot. Yeah, I, I, I pulled over a raid and rolled hard right and then almost hit the wing on the ground. <laughs> yeah, if you're low, if you're not you're pretty darn high going over that pass, it's gonna, your race is gonna be done anyway. You're gonna have to go around, it's gonna kill your time. Yeah, I was halfway down that first ridge and I realised I hadn't fully chosen my air brakes. I used them a bit because I was certainly to lose a bit of height for the start and I hadn't fully closed them. That didn't do me any favours at all. I think I've done that twice. Before I don't think I've ever done lesson. it before, but uh, yeah. Actually, what I, what I sometimes do is I use the air brakes instead of the flat. It's uh, on the same quadrant. But I, I seem to have learned that lesson. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I mean, it's, 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 I don't think it's the first time I've ever done it, actually. So in real flying, I saw a few incidents which the brakes wasn't uh, full closed and they lift a little bit up and the pilot didn't realize that the brakes are out. I was once taking off in a light sport aircraft and I had to hurry because I had to get, a, get in the air before some, some glided. And I forgot to set the flaps. I was halfway down the runway before I realised that this plane taking off. Well, this light aircraft usually will take off without flaps, but... Yeah. <laughs> but if you've got a long enough runway, yeah. Yeah, and not, not too much density altitude. Boy, there's a bunch of people that didn't make it over that second pass. They're pretty much done at that point. Yeah, I got a parking ticket there. Yeah, I just went around, you know, I went north. I was I wondering know. where you went then. Yeah, I... Continue the, along the ridge, trying to get a little bit higher, but uh, it wasn't very good. Well, have fun, guys. Fly safe, and hope they'll catch you tomorrow. Cheers, mate. See you, yeah. mate. Bye-bye. Bye, bye. Bye, bye, bye. Have a nice evening. Have a nice evening. Cheers. See you, guys. I had two opportunities to keep climbing a little bit higher, and I knew about the first pass. The second one, I didn't quite size up. Didn't.
Actually, I went over and not, not in the spot I was counting on now that I looked at it. I was counting on going over south of the blue line a little bit. They only have one pass. Alright, John, absolutely hauling ass. John's really going. Yeah, Brad, going more that. Yeah, what's well, coming into you today, John? But <laughs> yeah, you probably think I'm just taking my time actually. <laughs> I guess going over the way I went over there must work pretty well. Although I'm lower than everyone else is. No, I'm having trouble keeping up. I'm at the same height. Like DGT got a parking ticket as well. He's really high now. I don't know. Oh, I think I made a mistake. John TV is still circling, I think, in that cloud. Yeah. yeah. And I don't get it, it sets downwind, but whatever. Yes, yeah, John, very nice. Thank you. Here's John. Hey, what? Well done. Thank you. That's Martin. Yeah, that's Martin. What? New cloud on the ridge ahead. Yep.
Yeah, DGT, I don't know that he got stuck. I just think he stopped for altitude. Yep. Ahí está. Ahí está. Anything good, John? Uh, I feel like it was a, yeah, a bit of a blue thermal there, I think. Or a good rage, I can't, I can't tell which. Just want to get a little bit extra. Oh, the GT is not that high. Hey Bruce. Hey man. Still alive. Big screw up, but still here. Pretty much just want to finish today after that. from the cloud, yeah. <laughs> I didn't even see the cloud. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's a newish-looking cloud you got there, uh, Week. Yeah, just for like a half sec, a half minute ago.
Congrats, Richard. Thank you. Congrats, Tim. Hi, Rich. Thank you. Do they cut the corner? But that's probably be a terrible idea. <laughs> yeah, I think. I guess the Richard Nudge will be very strong. He usually is. Wow, you look high now, Tim. Yeah, about 2k at least. You covered your altitude since the, the parking ticket. We've lost eight people today already. Hi, Bruce. Hey, Tim. This is DGT's task today. I don't know if he really tries to win his tasks. Who? DGT really tries to win the ones that he met. He does. I just stick to the left time. Not down when we go crazy. I'm curious. Um, if the going longer around and hitting this ridge for a second versus cutting across and going through the sink. Uh, BGT is slower than us at the turn point, uh, John. Yeah, I think, I think Bruce, did you say he kind of parking ticket? We were about 150 at the turn point. Guess what? What? Thank you. Well done. Oh, that Romeo Juliet guy is also fast. Ah, not as fast <laughs> as you, Rick. No, you're faster still. Ah, until you have turned the turn point. I think it's not that bad, John. Uh, I was taking this way. I think the lift was not that good. <laughs> I'm only getting like minus a half netto. 
this is where I'll run into huge bits of sink out here in the open, away from the ridge, this is where I'll sink will be somehow. It's, it's actually lift up right now. Thank you. Yep, I'm doing 0.7.8 in the meadow, so yeah. I and now much. it's this Kilo Oscar Ego car that is very fast. What a bastard. <laughs> so, John, you're saying going down the ridge wasn't the way? Yeah, there's, there's not much point go around the lift wasn't great on the ridge and the sink seemed to be just about the same as what we had going going more directly so it's I I technically actually went past the turn point a little bit so I'd be clear of the ridge and way over and it didn't make any difference. Although it probably would help a very large amount if I actually hit the turn point though. <laughs> I was about to turn onto the ridge and just ignore the turn point. Let's get the turn. <laughs> What's the altitude in the car? I am at uh, 1822. So that's 200 meters you gained. And how many kilometers did you lose? About four? Yeah, it was not worth it, but. I think you were already higher than me when we started the crossing. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, that was... Like I said, the lift was not good, and if you only got like half a year of sync, yeah, there was no difference. You got basically used too shorter distance. Yeah. And I didn't lose any altitude relative to you. Unreadable. Like robot voice. Yeah, yeah. Andreas, your connection sound your connection to TeamSpeak sounds very, very bad for some reason. Oh sorry, it's, it's, sorry. Yeah, it's not um, your microphone, it's like your internet band is a good thing. Yeah, it's my headset from uh, from office. Um, I think it's different. The field's not so close as usual. It's really stretched on the pilots. No, Still unreadable. unreadable. You know, it, I'd raise, it's not your microphone, it's your connection to the, to the server, the internet. Okay, maybe. maybe. Yeah, see, now it got, it's, your, yeah, it's got better.
You work for it. Thank you. Nearly there. Oh, okay. Right, stand. Stand. Well done, Tim. Thank you. Nice, Tim. So we uh, did you cut across the valley to the uh, the ridge that goes between turn point three and four? No. Okay. I flew the, the ridge and then down to where the low ridge stops and then you have to cross a gap to the high ridge at Nudge. I didn't do the, the crossing John did. I just went across from there. I'm following DGT over the ridge. Right about where the blue line from two to three starts to touch that southern ridge where we're going over. Interesting. Okay, I went a bit further. The uh, Richard and Tim. Yeah, there's a, there's a way kind of through the hill, but I don't know if it's... Um, yeah, it's the way I going by the valley is better. I have this way marked to go this direction. I mean, the other, don't, going, to, going to the turn point, not coming from it. Very nice, Martin. Congrats, Martin. Martin. Don't be too low at the turn point if you want to cross the next bridge.
That's gross week. Nice week. <laughs> I only had my belly in the turn point. It was really close. I turned a little bit early. Make it work. Oh yeah, easily. Nice jump. I'm really selecting the wrong valley. Yeah, I think I have to go this way. Second. Well, I'd say that uh, I some this one guy took the ridge all the way down and then cut over the turn point. And he did better than DGT, you know. He was with us. Yeah, yeah, we, we did the same, but not just not quite as far as John did. Yeah, I, I thought I was worried there might be a lot of sink behind the ridge, so I went out. I continued past the point where I was not downwind of the ridge at all, and there was still sink. <laughs> and what Week described, there wasn't any more sink going straight across. The, so I was like, all right, never mind. Yeah, I, I basically just went a long way around for no advantage. Like the, I think it's just the winds are just not strong. The winds are weak enough that it's not really that big of a deal. Yeah, I really yeah, got. Yeah, still slower. that went around was much faster than the cutover we did. Yeah, TDK also. Boy, two guys just blew my doors off going the wrong way. Oh well.
Okay. Jim. And there's Tim. We got Sam. That's Tim. Pretty good.
Rest Martin. Rest Martin. In der Reihe. Thank you. You led the pack today, man. Well, some of them, uh, I think John was actually in front of me at a certain time. Let's jump. Let's jump. Let's jump. Let's jump. Yep, thanks. Oh my gosh. It's this airport. What's wrong with it? As soon as I got over the building place frame right, someone dropped the 30. Wait, no, no, that was my cap. Yeah, I know why. This is a Condor 3 airport, actually. Okay, right? Yeah, right. Take my frame rate is at 30. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know why. Is it something you can say? <laughs> uh, no, it's a collision detection. We fixed that for version 3, so that's not an issue anymore. Be it either touring as well, or just testing, or, or making 3D models? Uh, 3D models, um, testing, and developing techniques, tools, everything. Okay, what about the weather model? Yeah, that as well. Good. How many developers are there? Um, so there's Euros who does the coding, then there's Chris, me and Jan who do the planes, and then there's uh, Michelle and Lubos and Xavier Thank you. Thank you. and Milos. Okay. They did, a, they did the landscape. Yeah. So the hard coding is only done by one? Yeah, yeah the coding is all done by, by Euros. Yeah. What is the language? Is this uh, C or C sharp? No, Delphi. Wow. Really? <laughs> yeah. I like when they are choosing <coughs> games languages. That's cool. Thank you. Yes. Congrats. Congrats. Borland, wasn't it? Yeah, but uh, the guy, uh, he's called Anas Heisman. He was the chief developer. And he passed before Borland, Delphi was in uh, first bullet Pascal and then um, Turbo Pascal. Then he moved to uh, Borland and made this, uh, yeah, Borland Pascal, Delphi, sorry. And then there was a big American company who hijacked him and said, we want to make a new language. And the language is called C-sharp. Yeah. Well, you started coding Condor in Delphi and when Condor 1 came out 20 years ago, maybe, already? I don't know. 
Yeah. I think it's been 20 years, and it's still still bits and pieces of that code in uh, in in Condor Street today. You know. Yeah. Yeah. And this is working. And the hard part is probably for the demographics running on the highway. Yeah, uh, and, uh, we do take good care of Thank that. So. Okay. Yeah. I'm actually getting higher frame rates to Condor 3. Than <laughs> Condor 2. Okay. But to, to, to me, it seems like is it the, the problem with Condor 2 is less, it's not graphics, or the, it's not the GPU loads, the CPU loads, or did they even improve the CPU stuff that would be helpful? Yeah, it's, it's, it's mostly collision detection that's an issue. So if you fly close to an object, it checks every frame, it checks the whole object, everything in the object for collision, like every single vertex. Ah. And this object has 10,000 vertices, probably. So every frame it has to check through every vertex of the plane if it collides with any vertex of the building, which is ridiculous to do. You need to do sub-object collision detection. Yeah. I have a very nice solution for that. All, ob it off. <laughs> All objects must now be uh, yellow. Gratitude. Thank you. Congratulations. Congrats. Thank you. And the graphics is probably in DirectX, so is it uh, OpenGL or what is running? I really don't know. Okay. I, I, I'm, I'm not a programmer. The okay. current version is DirectX 11. Say again. I think the current version is DirectX 11. Okay. I, the only thing I coded was uh, one of the tools for the landscape, and it was in, uh, in Python, so... <laughs> oh, <laughs> that was a hard landscape. <laughs> Are you still using the Terrakin to, um, to make the uh, landscape? No, we use Blender now. Okay. My pilot is a bit too flat. But since you're here, we here's some more wishes for, for the new Condor. What about some sort of flan? I, I you, want, I, you want, you really want that? The, all the beeping in the cockpit when you're in a busy thermal? That's realistic. I, I think Chris... <laughs> Chris did say that there, there was going to be some some kind of farm like thing on when he announced that before. So we doesn't need to say anything. But I think I think yeah, I'm pretty sure that they, when Chris had that thing, he did say there was going to be something, some kind of farm like something. I think we already have it uh, a little bit when you. Hear the wind sound of somebody really close. You know, it's funny. Yeah. I, I I wish we had a horn. <laughs> oh, beep, beep. just changed uh, the wave file, John. You can have a horn. <laughs> Anything else? Oh yes. Uh, since uh, since the box is now open, uh, possibility to um, install your own instruments. You can already. You can change the instrument panels if you want. It's an unprotected file. It's just a text file. Yes. So somebody needs to make a little editor to do that. Yeah, off. <laughs> I have an editor this. to do that, but it's uh, it's not for public release. <laughs> <laughs> 
but it's it's just a text file. It's the .gau file, and it's just a list of all the instruments and their location in the plane. Yeah, I was more thinking about defining your own instruments. Um, like what? For instance, like the uh, PDA or the yeah navigation instrument. Uh, yeah, that that needs to be part of the model, so that that's um, not possible to change. Okay. But all the other instruments you can you can move about and change. And also, if you have a three D model of an instrument, if you have the correct naming of all the parts, then you can make it work. Just have to look at uh, at the base instrument. If you want a different airspeed indicator, you can make it. It's not that difficult. Okay. I don't remember if this has been announced or if you if you just don't need, don't need to say anything if you don't if you can't say anything. Do you know if the flap ring will be adjust could be rotatable or is or, or yeah just don't say anything if you can't say anything. <laughs> it's made so it can be rotated, but it needs code. Yeah. Okay. One thing I'd like for a PDA for the Condor PDA would be if you could know, it'd be, it'd be complicated. I, don't, I, I know they said there's going to be big changes to the PDA, but I'd like it'd be fun to be able to just take off and then be able to set change your waypoint stuff while you're flying. But that's probably a little bit out of the realm of it. But <laughs> or what the other way? There is, is a more... completely new PDA. Yes. I wish you could. I, one general thing I'd be kind of cool if you could just click anywhere in the map on the on the uh, when you're setting up a task and have an air start anywhere instead of just the airports. That's the only thing I'd, I don't like the not being able to start anywhere thing. <laughs> mm, yeah, that's a useful feature. See you guys next time. Yeah, yeah I'm going to leave as well. Yeah, I'll say bye as well. PhD didn't do very well. User disconnected from your channel. Yeah, I think uh, uh, Bruce said he got he got a parking ticket somewhere, so just huh. get bad luck. I mean, look how many people crashed. <laughs> it looked like the dude discus wasn't the best choice today. Oh yeah, not a single. Although oh, one one finished. Well, PTV is at one forty nine. So well, there he goes. No, yeah, Pete, uh, there is a deal finished yeah. already. Yeah, one fifty. I, I, I hate bugging you about the Condor 3 stuff. <laughs> I, I try not to talk about it. <laughs> I know you, can't, yeah. you, you don't want to talk about it because you can't half the time. And... It's ready it, when it's ready. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, yeah. I, don't want I'm not, I am not even going to do the when's it going to be done type things. Like, yeah, that's ready when it's ready. That's bugging me too. That's not done yet. <laughs> well, also, yeah, you're beta testing. So you've actually floated it. So you're like, <laughs> you, I'm sure you'd rather be flying it than. Condor 2 at this point. <laughs> oh, hey. Well, have a good uh, good evening there, week. Yeah, I don't know what happened. Hmm? I'm still here. But I don't oh, know I what happened. Were, I, I'm sorry, I thought you said you were No, no. Okay. <laughs> Why is it going Congrats, crashing? Bruce. Congrats, Bruce. Thank you. Yeah, I'll say bye as well. Everybody have a nice day and evening and uh, see you guys. Bye, Tim. Yeah, I'll jump out as well. Okay. Have a nice evening and thank you for an enjoyable flight and enjoyable talk. Yeah, my current Condor 3 logbook says 20 hours, but I've flown a lot more, I think. <laughs> Release, release, release. Yeah, not yet. That's okay, Vic. All right, bye bye. Bye bye. I see you, bye bye. User disconnected from your channel.